Welcome to our first lecture. Today we will talk about uh, electric circuits. Uh, not directly, we will start with a few fundamental definitions. Okay, our first chapter is uh, circuit variables and elements. And we will start with the ideal basic circuit elements. The good news is we will deal with only five basic circuit elements and we can describe nearly everything with them. So, and a basic circuit element has two terminals and uh, we can describe them mathematically in terms of currents and or voltage and an ideal basic circuit element cannot be subdivided into other elements. Okay, which elements do we have? There are three passive circuit elements, uh, the resistor, the capacitor and the inductor. And there are two uh, active elements and those are our sources. We have an ideal voltage source and an ideal current source. Okay, but in the beginning let's just talk about current and voltage and maybe you heard of Ohm's law. So let's start with the current. Um, a current is just the movement of charges in a wire. So when I have a wire here and if I had the superpower special view and I would be able to see the charges inside of this wire and the charges would start to travel through the wire and I say okay I look at this position and I count how many charges uh, travel through this uh, area here this cross-section area uh, per time and this is what we call current okay and the current is just defined by the amount of charges traveling through a cross-section area per time that's all okay but what is an electrical voltage uh, this is not so catchy uh, therefore, I'll show you another example. Uh, let's think about a vacuum cleaner. And you know that when you switch it on, there is a fan inside and this fan produces uh, an under pressure and therefore we have an airflow through our vacuum cleaner. And the airflow decreases when the aerodynamic resistance increases. So, for instance, if you take the uh, vacuum cleaner hose and you cover it with your hand, then uh, the vacuum cleaner still produces an under pressure. You can feel it on your hands, but uh, the air current uh, becomes zero. And if you use the vacuum cleaner, you know, uh, when you have it on the floor, then uh, the airflow will be... Uh, smaller than uh, when you just put the hose in the air or if you uh, put it out of uh, your vacuum cleaner then you have the maximum air current because the aerodynamic resistance is small. And we can describe this with an equation. So our air current will be bigger when the under pressure is bigger and it will be also bigger when the aerodynamic resistance decreases. And therefore, we can describe it uh, with this equation. Okay, and we can do the same thing with our electric resistors. So, uh, here we can define a voltage drop and uh, when we have an electric current flowing through the resistor, we will have a voltage drop. And there is an equation for that. So the electrical current is uh, the voltage drop divided 
by the resistance. And you see, uh, it's the same thing as at the vacuum cleaner. The electrical current increases when the voltage increases or if the resistor value decreases. And this is our second important equation for today because this is Ohm's law. And we call uh, I is the current and we measure it in ampere. U is the voltage in volt and R is the resistance in ohm. Okay, and our basic circuit element is the resistor. At a resistor always Ohm's law is valid and therefore our uh, resistance can be calculated with Ohm's law. So it is uh, the voltage divided by the current. And okay, uh, a resistor uh, has a resistance in Ohm and uh, there you see the idea for this concept had a man called Ohm. And there was another guy, he had the same idea, but he defined it the other way around. He said, uh, no, I take the same element, it's a conductance, not a resistor, and a conductance is defined by the current divided by the voltage. Okay, just the other way around. And yeah, he called it conductance and the man was Siemens and therefore the unit uh, for a conductance is Siemens. Okay, but please don't be irritated. Uh, a resistor and a conductance is the exact same element. Uh, only uh, the number value uh, of a conductance is the inverse of the value from the resistance. So it doesn't matter what we have and therefore a few number examples. If you have a 10 ohm resistor, you could also call it uh, 0.1 Siemens or 100 ohm would be 0 0.01 Siemens. 1 ohm is 1 Siemens and 0 0.1 ohm is 10 Siemens. And a resistor, I uh, have uh, such an element here. Uh, this is one kilo ohm resistor and therefore I could also say it's uh, one milli Siemens conductance. I will give you another definition for the voltage. Um, let's say we have a capacitor. That would be another uh, basic circuit element. A capacitor contains out of two conductive electrodes and you could charge it. Therefore, in our example here, we have positive charges on the top plate and negative charges on the lower plate. Uh, this charge separation was done by a voltage source. Okay, and now let's make uh, an experiment in our minds. I will grab a positive charge from the lower plate. And uh, therefore, when I put it out, uh, it would leave a negative charge behind. And I call this charge dq and uh, what is left on the plate is minus dq. Okay, and now I take my positive charge and move it through my circuit and put it onto the upper plate. Okay, it's a positive charge and I want to bring it into the positive plate. And you know, uh, positive charges distract each other. Therefore, uh, I uh, need energy to do this. And this is a definition for the voltage. Voltage is also defined by the energy I need per charge to move them through the circuit. Okay, we come to our next definition, power and energy. You should know from physics that uh, a power is 
the energy per time. Okay. And uh, power is measured in Watt. Energy has the unit Joule and the T here is just the time in seconds. Okay, and we want to transfer this equation into something with voltage and current. And therefore I use a trick. I write the equation again and I expand this fraction by dq divided by dq. This is just one. I did nothing. But now comes the trick. I change the position of the denominators of our fractions here. Okay, and let's see what we have. Do you know those expressions? Yes, you do. This here is just our definition of the voltage and this here is just the definition of our electrical current. And that means when we want to calculate the electrical power, we can just multiply the voltage and the current. That's all. Okay, a last definition for today. When we have a system, so that could be a motor, an electrical motor, for example, uh, then we put power into it. This would be electric power. And we have an output power on the other side, mechanical power of a motor. And this mechanical power will be not as big as the input power because we have losses. A motor produces also heat and we are not interested in that heat. So we have uh, a loss. Uh, therefore, I introduce here P loss. Okay, and our last definition for today is the efficiency. The efficiency of a system is defined by the output power divided by the input power. And in the end, I just want to show you the guys who gave their names for the units because uh, they did the research uh, on that topic. And um, nice to know fact, when you have a unit and you use a capital letter for it, then this indicates that the unit is uh, named by a person. And when a unit use a lowercase letter like meter, kilogram or something like that, then this indicates that uh, this is not named by a person. Okay. This is it already with our today's theory. And now please do your training task. See you next time.